Hi, I'm Madame Pamita, and this is Madame Pamita's Parlor of Wonders. You can find me online at parlorofwonders.com. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a poppet. Sometimes they're called doll babies, sometimes they're called voodoo dolls. The word terminology that I like to use is a poppet. In this case, we're going to be doing a poppet for love. Puppet work is sympathetic magic work, and sympathetic magic is some of the oldest magic, even dating back to prehistory. We find, uh, for example, artifacts in caves that are little dolls or little representations of people, and what archaeologists have uh, determined is that these dolls were used as sympathetic magic. Um, Sympathetic magic means you're using something to represent something else. And in this case, we're using a little doll to represent another person. So what we're going to be doing is making a puppet for love. So you're going to use this doll to represent someone that you love and who you want to control. Now, there's no doubt about it that in this case, this kind of magic, working with a puppet, is coercive magic. And so you have to decide for yourself if this is in alignment with your own beliefs of controlling someone or letting them have their own free will. So um, if you are okay with doing control work and you don't mind doing it, then a puppet is excellent, an excellent, excellent way to do that work. All right, so what you're going to need for this spell is um, some May apple um, some may apple is may apple is called American mandrake, may apple root, and you're going to need three or four pieces of that. You're going to need a piece of paper, a small piece of paper about the size of a uh, fortune cookie. Fortune is sufficient. You're going to need um, some red or pink twine string or thread. Embroidery floss is another option too. Um, getting a piece of clothing from your target, the person that you're working on, ideally um, something that they have worn and has not been washed. Um, even better is if you can get underwear, something that they've worn close to their body, but if you can't get that, certainly a shirt or pants or skirt or dress or some other kind of um, thing that they've worn is good. Most important is that it's um, something that they've worn and that has not been washed. And then lastly, you're going to need some herbs. In this case, since we're doing love work and the work is a little bit controlling, we're going to bring in some herbs um, that are in alignment with that. Uh, Quassia root is for control and love, so that you have some control over the love situation. Um, sandalwood is for passion. Uh, rose petals are for love and romance. Red rose petals are especially good. And cinnamon is um, good for heating up a relationship. Try to pick herbs that have some bulk to them that are uh, in thick and not powdery because it's going to be hard to get a powdery herb into uh, the doll as you're wrapping it. But a, a good chunky herb is going to be um, very easy to work with this. So the first thing you want to do is make a representation of the person by taking the sticks and sort of giving them two legs, a body, and some arms. In this case, I've got two sticks right here that can represent the body and the legs, and then we've got one that's like a cross beam that can represent the arms. And I'm gonna tie those together so that they're easier to wrap around. So now that I've tied those together, I've got a sort of loose representation of a person with a something representing their head, something representing arms, and something representing two legs. Now we're going to take that piece of paper and write the person, our target person's name on it. In this case, I'm just going to make use a makeup person, made up person. And right, John Smith, that's going to be our pretend target. You're going to take this piece of paper 
and wrap it around the body of our little poppet. Now you're going to take that piece of cloth that represents the clothing and you're also going to wrap it around the target. You can use this actually to hold some of the herbs in. So you may not want to wrap it around completely, but you may want to just start there and then maybe start to add some herbs too. I'm going to take a little piece of a cinnamon stick that's in, again, bulky and wrap that in. Some rose petals. Nice piece of sandalwood and a nice piece of quassia. You can add those all in. And wrap those underneath that cloth. And make that cloth a little shorter so we have two legs sticking out. Do have to manipulate this a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to add get those things back in there. There we go. Alrighty. Now we're going to start wrapping the red thread around the poppet. As you wrap that thread around, you can start to speak your intention. John Smith, you will fall in love with me. You will want to be with no one but me, um, et cetera, et cetera. You can use your nice words, kind words, of course, always. This is a love spell. And words of what it is that you want your target to feel and do. You can wrap that around. And as you're doing it, you're again speaking your intention as you're doing that work. And you keep wrapping it around, wrapping it around arms and legs. If you have a piece of hair of your target person, that is an excellent thing to do. And as you can see, there was a, in this example here, we've got a whole lot of hair that was added to the top, a whole snippet of hair, but even one hair added. If you have any of the personal concerns of your target, that means, I mean, the, certainly the clothing that was worn by them is a personal concern, but if you have a fingernail clipping, piece of hair, maybe a piece of um, cloth that has some bodily fluids on it, anything like that that you can add to it is just going to increase its power. So you keep wrapping, keep talking, until finally your, your poppet looks like a little string doll. speaking those sweet words as you go along. Finally, you're going to tie it off with three knots. So you go, as you say, tie off your puppet with your three knots, you speak your words of power. John Smith, you will love me. John Smith, you will love me. John Smith, you will love me. You can cut off that string and tuck the end in. When you're finished with that, you can bless your poppet with a, an appropriate love oil. So, for example, Love Me Oil, Adam and Eve Oil, um, Dixie Love Oil, those are all appropriate oils. And you baptize your poppet with his or her name. And you say, I baptize you, John Smith. You are now John Smith. What I say to you, I am saying to John Smith, and what I tell you, you, John Smith, will do. Use those words to establish that this poppet is the representative of John Smith, and what it is that you do to this poppet is what you are doing to the person that is your target. Once you do that, you now want to keep your poppet in a safe place. For love work, you can... Um, keep it in your underwear drawers and a nice place to keep your puppet. You can sleep with it under your pillow at night and you want to talk to this puppet with loving words, with uh, words that um, of suggestion, absolutely. 
John Smith, you will be thinking about me, you will miss me, you will call me, whatever it is that you want your target to do. And you can also um, speak the loving words that you would speak to this person if they were with you. I love you, you um, I'm so happy that we're together, and so on. Um, treat your papa as you would treat a, a very valuable item, a pet, or even um, as you would treat him. You want to treat it with respect and you want to treat it with care. Um, when you are complete with your poppet, you can put your poppet in a secret place and keep it away. If you do not want to do the work anymore, then of course you don't want that person anymore, then you would take that poppet and bury it. And that is how you make a poppet, and in particular a poppet for love. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Madame Pamita. You can find me online at parlorofwonders.com. Time to go to Madame Pamita's show. Come to where the high school people meet.